Hi, welcome to the MathCenter.com. We are looking at an exam question uh, for the maths principle. Uh, this part is a pure maths paper, subject code 9795 01. And we are looking at the May June 2018 exam. Question number 12. It goes like this the curve C is given by y equals to 1 over 4x squared. Okay, 1 over 4x squared minus half log x for values of x between 2 and 8. We asked to find in its simplest exact form the length of C. We will talk about part 2 when we get to it. Let's settle part 1 first, which is finding the length of the curve. Before we look at the solution, please uh, like, give this video a like and share as much as you can please follow me on facebook and youtube okay so we will be using the formula how would you have learned it we would have learned it using ds squared equals to dx squared plus dy squared this is how you start learning it when we deal with uh, length of a curve and then when you divide throughout by uh, dx squared you will get ds over dx whole thing squared will be 1 plus dy dx whole thing squared and then you take the square root you will get ds dx equals to the square root of this okay this is how we learn it and then uh, to, you can write ds as equals to uh, the square root of this whole thing times bring the dx up then you can go ahead and once you see a ds here and a dx here you can introduce the integral symbols that's how you work out your arc length or the length of this curve so that's what you see here in this line that was a quick refresher and or rather reminder really on how it's done uh, we need dy dx as you can tell from this line here we need dy dx that's easy yeah if y is 1 over 4 x squared minus half log x then dy dx is just bring the 2 down you'll get half x okay and then I have a half log x here log x will be 1 over x so it'll be 1 over 2 times 1 over x that's it so now we need to do a little bit of algebra so in your square root symbols here we have 1 plus dy dx whole thing squared so I've done the work separately here okay 1 plus this is dy dx whole thing squared and then when you expand it, you'll get this line here. That's easy to follow. Yeah? Just be a bit careful. I have half x squared will be this thing here. And then I have minus 1 over 2x. You square it, you get this thing here. And takes 2 times this times this, you will get a negative half. So 1 minus half is a half. And then you will get half plus 1 over 4x squared plus 1 over 4x squared. So let's factorize that a little bit. Okay. Factorize that a little bit and you'll get this line here, half x plus 1 over 2x whole thing squared. Now that's good because we're going to take the square root of this anyway. When you take the square root, the 2 disappears and we are left with, I repeat, yeah, we're going to take the square root of this. So this 2 will disappear and we are just left with what's inside. Can you see? A half x plus 1 over 2x. Uh, our limits, x going from what? 2 to 8, yeah? They gave me that in the question, 2 to 8. Uh, the integration is pretty simple, yeah? I have a half x here, so increase the power by 1, bring it down, I'll get 1 over 4x squared. And then I have a half here and a 1 over x, I'll have a half log x. Next, you need to plug in 8. So 8 squared is 64. Divided by 4 is 16. And then I have a half log 8. Then 2 squared divided by 4 is 1. And then I have half log 2. Not hard for you, yeah. Just do it slowly. Um, let's see. I have 16 minus 1 is 15. And then I have a half log 8 minus half log 2. That's what you see here. What is log 8? Log 8 is log 2 to the power of 3, which is 3 log 2. So, uh, what's going to happen is, uh, let me see. I have got um, 15, let me do that here, 15 plus a half 3 log 2 minus log 2, 
I'll get 15 plus uh, 3 minus 1 is 2 log 2. Okay? And that's what you'll see here. Okay? There's a half here and a 2 here. We can cancel it. We are left with 15 plus log 2. I've also given you another way to work it here. Uh, 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 is 2 squared. Bring the 2 down. And we're still getting the same answer. 15 plus log 2. Thank you for watching. Uh, please share this video as much as you can. Please give this video a like. And you can follow me on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you.